Hello everyone and welcome to I'll Be Sewing. My name is Gina and um, as I had um, last time we did the Source Club box and um, we'll be putting on the screen the winner. Also I did the Christmas stockings and also the, the winners will be announced on just check the screen and also on the description of the the video. We'll post it right here. Um, the names of the winners. Um, and um, I got a lot of requests this uh, last, uh, for a little while, of uh, people wanting to learn how to make these little uh, little cup carriers, these little ones like this. So I have a couple here, I have that one, there's this one here, um, and this one here. As you see, mine is still, I still need to, um, I was working, I did this one for the tutorial, and uh, my daughter ended up making these two because she's going to give them as for presents for some of her friends. So, um, but I, since I had so many requests, I decided just to put a, a, a tutorial together. So if you guys still want to make some for Christmas, this is definitely one of those things you can make. Um, as you see mine here, I'm still going to put magnetic snaps. I'm still going to finish, but it doesn't really matter. I'm still going to go through the tutorials to show you all the pieces you need, how you need. So if you open it, I'm just going to take my pens, I'm going to put little magnetic snaps there, magnetic snaps, just those little plastic snaps to close it off. So if you open, you go like that, and you have a little mug in there that you can fill with chocolates, or even some tea or a coffee, depending on what the person did. And then there's a little pocket here on the side, as you see, I'm going to move these away. As you see, there's a little pocket here that you can put some tea or a gift card, and um, and so it's like that. So they can also use this as almost a little uh, mud rug and they can have their, their food here and their coffee here. Good for teachers' presents or even for the office. You know, you can have that in your desk and eliminate the need of uh, paper cups and plastic cups and all those kinds of things. Um, so um, I'm gonna give you all the measurements. So this is the one, this one is like this, like this, and then we're gonna be putting snaps as I mentioned. Um, this one here as you see uh, my daughter added a little loop and she's gonna add it with a little button here instead of snaps. So it's the same idea you open it you have your cup and cup of course I love owls so I have a lot of cups with owls. Um, again there's the little pocket here that you can add and again you close it and you end up like these fabrics are on our website you guys can check up the website i'll be sewing.ca and we do have these these uh fabrics online this one in particular one here these actually all of these are from northcott um i think i already did a project that i've used some of this one here um this one was i think a last year line was um uh, hot chocolate and i think it's kind of really neat for christmas um but this one my daughter has her friend likes dogs so she decided to do with little dogs so it looks like that and uh, when you open the same idea she used the different coordinates and put it the, like that uh, so let's get started with the one that i picked to do here with all the measurements and um and so you can at least make your own and give it to your pre to your uh, friends for christmas so i leave this one here and we'll go through the project so we'll what we're going to need, we're going to need for our outside, this part here, this long piece here, and I have mine here. So what are we going to need? I have here three pieces of fabric. That's for our outside. I have one piece here that's 15 and a half. I wrote here so I wouldn't forget. This is this one here, that's I'm going to be using, um, and this this particular fabric is from, from Michael Miller. Uh, and this one here, I have here 15 and a half by 7. And this piece that's going to be my flap, the part that's going to go around, it's um, so 7. And I have here about 5 and a half. Okay, but I did 5 and a half. I normally do about 5, but I did 5 and a half because uh, I didn't want to cut too much of the design here so I end up having it as five and a half and uh, this piece would have been 16 and I did uh, 15 and a half so I kind of changed the, the measurement a little bit 
But what's important is it's your piece, after you sew these two pieces together, that you have a piece that measures 20 by 7. And you're going to need your front, your back, and a piece of fusible fleece that you're going to fuse to your outside fabric, to this fabric here. Okay, that's for the outside. Then for our pocket, this little pocket that we have here, I have some pieces here, so I have two pieces of fabric. And I have this piece here that I have is 3 inches by 7. And this bigger one, this pink here that I'm using here, is 6 inches by 7. Okay, so 6 inches by 7. And for our inside bag, I have here, so I have two pieces plus fusible fleece, and the pieces that I have here is 20 by 9, so 20 inches long and it's by 9 wide, because we're going to be doing corners, as you see this is 7, so we're going to be losing some, some stuff here on, uh, on the corner, so that's why it has to be wider than our base. Okay, and I have one as lining, one for, the, one for the inside, one for the outside, and a piece of fusible fleece also. Okay? And then we need for the little tab here, for this little handle here. And what I have here, for this part here, I have the piece that I did was, I don't even have my piece here. I must have lost it somewhere. I'm going to have to have a look. But the piece measures here. It's four inches wide by nine, okay? And I'll show you how to put it all together. So after you have all your materials, we're going to start sewing. My first step is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my pocket. So I'm going to prepare my pocket. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to get this right side together, like here. I'm going to go ahead and sew it like that. After I sew that seam there, I'm going to bring this one to this side and sew that into a, a tube, like that. All right, then I'm going to turn it to the right side. Okay, I'm going to do that and show you. Then for the front of my bag, what I'm going to go ahead and do is attach this piece to this one here. So always make sure you pay attention to the direction of your fabric because as you see, if you're working with direction fabric and you're using only one fabric, you're going to have to cut a piece here and change the directions because when you go all the way around, one part is going to end up upside down. So and you don't want that. This is why the flap, you have to pay attention, okay, if this is my front and this is going to be coming to come like this to cover my bag, like that, right? So this has to be up like this. So you don't want to sew this like this. Alright? You don't want to sew that like that. So you want to have this like that. Alright? So always pay attention to the direction of your fabric because that's very important in any project. Alright? So I'm going to go ahead and join my piece this piece here to this part here all right I'm gonna sew it and then I'm gonna fuse my fusible fleece to this part here all right I'm also gonna go ahead and fuse my fusible fleece for the piece that I have here, that's the pocket, I'm going to fuse the fusible fleece to my lining, to the part that's going to be on the inside of the bag, not the outside. Because normally when we do this, we always sew this to the, we fuse the fusible fleece to the outside, but this time we're going to do the opposite. We're going to fuse the fusible uh, fleece, sorry about that, to the... Um, to the inside and this is going to be my inside that's going to fold out and this is going to be my outside fabric so I'm not going to fuse anything to it. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and prepare those pieces and I'll come back and show you our next steps. So I'm back. So I have here my handle, the, the, what I told you the 4 inch by 9. So what I did is I folded it in half, half and half and like that that's going to be 
for my handle. Before I sew this to the machine, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and sew these like this here. And then after it's sew, you're going to fold. Let's see. Put a pin. Then you're going to fold and fold the way the creases are already. So you end up with a, a, an even edge here. All right. So definitely do that to both sides. First, we're going to sew this here first, together like that. Then we're going to fold to this right here. And then f where the crease is, we're going to fold and fold in. And then you're going to end up with the edges already finished. Okay. So I also did my pocket. There's my pocket. So remember that was the 3 inch and this one was the 6 inch. And then what are you going to do after you sew them together, turn it to the right side and you're going to divide mostly to the top and a tiny little bit to the bottom of the pink. So it ends up giving you a little bit of detail in your pocket. For um, the outside fabric, I already joined my piece and I fused the fusible fleece to this part here and I have my lining here. And then for the pocket or inside, I fuse my fusible fleece to the inside fabric and my outside fabric is here. So now we have to start assembling these together. First, you're gonna get you're gonna make like two little bags. So you're gonna go ahead and fold this in half. Alright. And you're gonna sew a seam there and a seam there. Same thing with this one. Or same thing you can do this way. You can go ahead and do a seam here and a seam there or we can do like like remember I did give with the stockings we can put this like this right sides together and so here first so I will be sewing my top across and then this top here again after those ones are done let me get some pins after that's done let me see if I show you. After you sew this top and this top, you're going to open like we did with the stockings. And we're going to bring this one and this one together. And we're going to do a seam this way and a seam that way. If you do it this way, just remember to leave here on the top here a little opening. Okay? Just, just remember to leave a little opening somewhere here so we can turn our bag out. And we would want to leave the, the opening here, not on the side. So the inside looks a little cleaner. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do mine this way. I prefer to sew here and here and then matching the other sides. I'm going to leave a little opening around here. Then we're going to go ahead and prepare this part here as you see they're rounded a little bit so we have to round it they're rounded here so i have to round that a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and i have a creative grid ruler here that has some corners to round different areas and i'm gonna use the one a little bit sharper so i don't want to round it too much just a tiny little bit you can even use a cup or you can do it like by eye, it just round the, the way to anything that you have around that's rounded, you can do that. And but since I have the ruler, I might as well use it, right? So you're gonna go ahead and round that up. And see if you have anything else that's rounded, you can also go here and round that up. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and Trim this. And I always fold mine and check, make sure they are the same, just in case. Okay, round it like that. And you're also going to round this side also. So I'm going to put them together here already and I'm going to see, where's my marking pen? This is, I'm going to go ahead and round this part. So we need to add our pocket. Okay, 
as you see here our pocket is in here on the side so I'm gonna measure 8 inches down so I'm gonna go 8 inches down where's my ruler from the tip of my fabric I'm gonna go 8 inches make sure this is straight and over here that's 8 inches so I just want to have some markings and then the pocket the top of the pocket is gonna go right there on the 8 inch like that okay I see my pocket it's slightly longer so I need to trim a little bit it's a little wider so and I'm gonna go ahead and take this to the sewing machine so this here sew across and sew up to secure it in place okay and I'll be right back so I'm making my bag doing it this way I left an opening as you see in here instead right in here and um, then I sewed both ends like that so now I need to cut my corners and my corners here is going to be one inch so I'm going to get a ruler and I'm going to go ahead and mark one inch from my seam allowance this is my seam allowance here and the bottom here since we don't have a seam allowance we're going to do one inch so I'm going to go ahead and put one inch and one inch there and like that and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side seam allowance Alright, so I cut all the corners, so we need to join them together before we turn this to the right side. And so you know where the middle is, you're going to go ahead and clip this part here, so you know, since you don't have a, a seam there, at least you know where your middle is, so you can match them perfectly. Same thing here. Then you're going to go ahead fold them like that, match your seam okay and these are ready to do the corners I attach my pocket to here also already as you see so it's secure and I did two little seams here as you see it adds a little detail on the bottom and looks like that then I have here my strap and it looks like this so I'm going to go ahead and turn this to the right side and we're going to be folding the way we had folded before. We already have the creases there, all you have to do is fold it in like that and like that and then adjust everything And then you're going to go ahead and do a top stitch all the way around. So you're going to go this way, this way, and this way. Okay? You're going to go ahead and get that ready. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and this and show you our next step. So all my corners and I finished my strap. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this to the right side through this little hole up here so I'm gonna put on this side first because I need to close this little opening here and what I want to do is I want to have that little bit of pink through the side this is where my opening is as you see it's folded so I'm gonna go ahead and do a seam all the way around there like that okay then after that I'm gonna turn it to the other side and this part here is the one that's gonna be folded so we're gonna put this to the side so now we have to work with this side here 
and you know I have my strap here. You're probably wondering why I don't want to touch my strap before in here so I wouldn't have to finish these edges. But the reason why that's better to do it afterwards is because um, depending on the size of, you, of your mug that you put it in here, the straps might end up in different spots. So you have to, to plan it after. After this part is done here, um, is you plan where the strap is going to be. So it's depending of the cup that you're going to put it in. A smaller cup you might be a little bit more in, a bigger cup you might be a little bit more to the side. So it's better that you actually sew the strap to the top and also will give you a little bit more stability also here because it's going to be attached to the lining also. So we're going to go ahead and finish this part here. So this one here. So we're going to go ahead and put right sides together. Leave an opening. I, I will be leaving an opening right over here because this part is going to be tucked in to this area here, as you see of my bag, is going to be tucked in in here, so you're not even going to see it too much, so I'm going to leave the opening through there. So I'm going to go ahead and sew all this all the way around and turn it to the right side. As soon as it's turned to the right side, I'm going to do also a top stitch around, and I'll be right back. My bag is done, did my top stitching, and I fold, turn this to the inside, and I want to be this to be my outside and this to be my fold with the little angel here and and I did this one here sort of round turn it to the right side turned it over have this part done and now we're gonna attach have a look where this the strap is gonna to be so I want mine to be around there so it's better to grab a mug something that you're gonna put it in put it there and then you're gonna put this somewhere close to the pocket close to the pocket this part here as you see it goes there then you're gonna check so you're gonna go here and see this part here is not folding enough right so I want this to move over a little bit more so I have more of a fold okay so I think that's good so I'm going to go here, as you see here, I'm going to get this part here and I'm going to put it under where I'm happy where the fold is. I'm going to go ahead and put that under. And you can either put those little plastic snaps here that you can remove the bag completely or you can just take this to the sewing machine and move this away put it straight and do a little seam here if you really want to move the, the bag away you would go like that and try to just attach that to just this little piece here to the top here so this top would be attached to this top here all right you could sew that there uh, I'm gonna put this with snaps because I prefer with the idea of we can remove the little bag if we want to and um, then you're going to go ahead and put it there and now we need to attach that the the handle. So now I'm going to go put my mug in. I'm going to go ahead and move this down where I think this should attach again. It's either you put a little loop for a button or you're going to have to attach with snaps. I'm going to put plastic snaps on mine. So for now I'm just going to put a, a pin here to see where I want my handle. So now I have that like that. And so I would want my handle to be somewhere around here. So it would be comfortable to carry it. So I'm going to go ahead and just put temporary here. And then I'm going to measure, make sure they're both balanced to both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and put a pin here. And right, I think that's, that's about right. But I will measure. Okay. And we have it like that. So I'm going to go ahead now and take these pins from here. I'm going to take my bag out for now. And what I want to do, since I have a seam here where I have this attachment here, I want to make sure I want to go with my ruler. I want to make sure the distance from that line to the strap, it's right across the seam. So then what are you going to go? You're going to go here. You can do, I would say, about one and a half inch 
from the edge and you're gonna mark it okay and the same here on the side one and a half so we're gonna go ahead and sew here in this way this way and do a criss cross over here like that in both ends okay I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay I attach my handle it's there so now all I have to do if you want this to be permanent completely permanent and you want this to don't move out of out of place see where you want it add your straps add your straps sorry add your snaps here or sew it in all right and then you can also go ahead and go here if you really want to and sew just the outside layer of your fabric here so this would stay put so your bag would stay put it's up to you you don't have to but you can definitely do that you can sew this down over here that's why we left the the fabric that had no interfacing to the outside so you we could actually sew it down if we really decide to like that and now you put your cup in there fold that there I'm gonna put my snaps here plastic snaps here to close it in place and our little bag is done and since it's Christmas this will be my uh, last giveaway for this year um, I will be giving one of these little bags these two that I've made the other ones my daughter made so that's for her for her friends but one of these I will be giving away. Just leave a comment, tell which one is your favorite. This one here is quilted. This has foam in it. This one here, I only use fusible fleece. But this is more traditional Christmas. This is more, I guess, anytime. It's, it's a very cute bag. Um, so we'll see you next time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and um, give us a like. And we'll see you next time for another video. Happy sewing, everyone.